Hi, this is Chris from Go Vacuum, and uh, I had a request from a customer to show you how to do this repair. And this is how to replace the fill tube on a Kirby Generation vacuum. This is the same repair for a G3, G4, G5, G6, Ultimate G, and pretty much uh, all the generation uh, Kirby models. Um, you'll need to purchase a couple parts for this repair, including the actual fill tube. And the fill tube can be bought on our website. Uh, it's Kirby part number 190384. Also, uh, you probably want to pick up a couple Kirby fill tube ties, which actually hold the uh, tube around the bag boot and the uh, uh, bag adapter. And these are Kirby part number 191182S as in Sam. So, I'm just going to open up the bag here. Usually what ends up happening is that there's a crack somewhere in the, the tube uh, it causes uh, dirt and all the dust to just be released into the outer bag itself as opposed to going into the disposable paper bag. Um, so it's a pretty common repair. Uh, so I figured a video would be good to show how to, how to replace it. Um, the first thing you want to do is, is first remove the disposable paper bag uh, from the machine uh, and then you want to release the filled tube from uh, the bag tie at the top and you can see uh, there's a, a little notch here at the top of the uh, bag uh, adapter and you simply want to just turn it sideways and then release the string here that holds it in place. That way you uh, have full access to the full fill of tube uh, and it's not secured. Uh, and secondly you, you want to take the bag adapter from uh, the old fill tube and you can do that uh, sometimes there may be tape wrapped around this part. Simply uh, cut the tape off and you can simply remove the old fill tube uh, by unscrewing it. And the bag adapter comes right off. Now the difficult and challenging part is actually the other end of the fill tube that connects to the boot of the vacuum cleaner. And it's just difficult because it's hard to reach and hard to get to. Uh, but you can see here at the bottom of the bag is where it actually connects and usually there's tape around here as well so you can go ahead and cut that tape uh, but then you also have two of the ties uh, that you'll need to cut off as well. Let's just zoom in here and show you that. As you can see there's two ties there uh, that we need to cut off before we can replace it. So the easiest way to do that is just to take a pair of wire dikes as like so and go ahead and just cut the old filled tube bag ties off. one and the second one is even further down there and we'll go ahead and cut that off Then once you have the filled tube ties taken off, you 
you can simply just remove the entire fill tube the same way by unscrewing it from the boot. And you can simply unscrew it. Or if worse comes to worse, you can just cut it off using the same wire dikes that you just used. Okay, so once you have the old fill tube taken off, um, to put the new one on, you simply want to put it over the uh, mini emptor or the boot uh, and then simply rotate it. Until it goes all the way to the bottom of the fill tube or the boot. Then once you have it where it won't screw any tighter, like so, then you want to take your bag tie and you want to put it at the very bottom and just to make sure it stays on, uh, I usually put two on the bottom of the, the fill tube. And you want to make sure that it's all the way at the bottom of the bag, or the uh, bottom of the fill tube, so that it secures the new tube in place. <laughs> then you can just cut the rest of the tie off. And then I usually put one more, and you can feel, feel uh, where the top of the boot goes. And I usually put one more bag tie around the top there as well, just to make sure uh, that it stays secure and doesn't come off. Once you get it as tight as you can, just go ahead and cut the rest of the tie off there as well. And you've secured it now to the bottom of the boot. And you'll need to then secure the other end back to the bag adapter. And that simply uh, screws on as well. So you want to just screw it until it's tight. And it helps if you screw it the right direction.
And lastly, you just want to make sure that the fill tube uh, is facing the front of the bag uh, so that you can connect the bag the right way. You don't want it facing the rear of the bag. see that it's facing the right way and then you just want to put a bag tie around uh, the bag adapter as well so that it doesn't come unsecure And you can also wrap some electrical tape around it when you're done uh, to really ensure that it doesn't come loose. And simply cut the end of the tie off. And then finally you just want to reconnect the strap uh, from the top of the bag and you just put this through you just want to put that through the hole here and then wrap it around the little notch at the top that way it's secure and it doesn't come off and now we've just replaced the fill tube on the Kirby and again you can put tape on both sides on the uh, adapter end as well as the boot end to make sure they don't come off uh, but usually the, the zip ties are, do a good job and secure them well enough that you don't need to put tape. I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, please log on to www.govacuum.com for any of your Kirby needs. We have all the bags, belts, filters, fill tubes, Pretty much any part you need we have available. If we don't have it on the site, just give us a call. We're happy to order anything. Thanks for watching. 